Welcome back to the Electricians to channel. Uh, this is number six of a series of videos that I'm doing about game about um, tools that that are game changers to me and uh, that <clears throat> made a job or jobs that I normally do much more easier that have turned a hard job an irritable job into a piece of cake. And, uh, and I've benefited from it. And um, so we just gonna I'm just name these tools and tell you why they uh, fit in the category of becoming a game changer or what made them a game changer to me. Uh, I just wanna thank you guys again. I often say that on all my videos. Thank you guys for, uh, because without you, I wouldn't even wanna do the videos. I'm glad you guys appreciate it. And those of you who have been uh, subscribing to the, to, to the channel uh, and or hitting the like button and leaving comments, I really appreciate it. Uh, guys that, who are new to the channel, uh, I ask that you could do one of the three uh, or all of the three um, in no particular order. Uh, hit the subscribe, the like button, and leave a comment. Uh, you know, you, you're just doing it in support of the channel. And guys, you don't have to pay one dime for it. It's for free. You're just supporting the channel, something that's good. And it just shows that you're in support of it. Now, moving on. Uh, I, I'm mentioning this, guys, in all of my videos about this, this tester that I'm having up here. I'll show you in a second. This, this is about AEMC. And those of you who know about AEMC uh, instruments, you know that AEMC is a top-of-the-line uh, company that manufactures uh, electrical and electronic test instruments. Uh, I'm selling these on, on eBay at the moment for ha uh, almost half, a little over, uh, about about half price, or a little over half price than what they are uh, retailed for. I just happened to get my hand on some, and uh, I don't give you have to give you the whole story, but I have given the story of how I obtained how I obtained them, and uh, but they are they are high quality meters. They are brand new, except for this one. It was brand new, but this is my this is the one I'm keeping out of the pack, and. Uh, right here and all that you see here and underneath here is what you get for $55 now I have it listed on eBay I also did a review on this multimeter here uh, I'll just leave it out so until uh, I finish the video and but all that you see the multimeter plus this case and everything else that's inside the case you get that for $55 you pay your own shipping guys you can um, that's the deal that you can't pass up those of you who know what I'm talking about um, just just go to eBay, type in um, AEMC, model number 5233, True RMS Multimeter, and you're going to see a list of the multimeters come up. The ones that are going to come up first are not mine. It's the same exact multimeter, but they're listed as $100, $110, $120, and so on and so forth. Mine is listed at $55. The same exact multimeter. Those that, that you may see are, they may be listed brand, I mean, not brand new. Theirs may be new, but not in the box. Mine brand new, never been used, in the box, $55. Brand new. Uh, so, uh, if you're in need of a good multimeter, and guys, I tell you, this is a very nice multimeter. Quality made. It's not the cheap, lightweight, cheap multimeter you find on Banggood and things like that. This is a top of the line multimeter. They won't last because people have been buying them up already. So if you're interested in it, go to eBay and get yourself one. Fifty-five dollars while I still have them. I mean, while I still have it. Now, with that out of the way, let's go to the video. This is a. This is all three multimeters. I mean, three test devices that I have in front in front of you. Test instruments, and um, well, two test instruments plus a test instrument, I guess it was an adapter. Here, I would call this the, an adapter, line splitter. But these are these are ground are great game changers to me, to be, and I'll tell you why. This is the Fluke 1587, and what makes this a game changer from any other uh, installation tester that I own is uh, what I can do with it. And make a long story short, I was out doing a call uh, about about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago, I was called to, to one of my customers, and she asked me to. Uh, she told me to check uh, um, her refrigerator. 
Okay, then. Well, I mean, that's money. I still get paid for that. I say, all right, then. Well, I'll pass by when I'm getting through doing what I'm doing. Now, I'll, I'll stop by and I'll check uh, the capacitor. I mean, not the capacitor. Um, why it's not coming on. So, uh, like I told you, I mean, I do a lot of work in the country. Uh, this was a, ho a home, like, in a, on, on a ranch. And they keep their refrigerators, the deep freezer, what it, it was, to keep it outdoors. And she had it, like, in a barn almost. So I went out there and, uh, you know, and I bought this. just so happened I had this this meter with me in the truck. So I went and uh, I checked it. I, I, I checked and I checked and it hit me. Okay, well, I'm, you know, uh, let me just try, test this uh, FC uh, connect out, you know, with the Bluetooth. And uh, so I started doing it. I started doing it and I started just, just checking in. And uh, they, uh, just just recording everything that I checked with the Bluetooth. Okay, and she told, and the reason why she told me told me that because she said she's going to get an uh, the insurance company needs to know, and they need to hear from uh, a, a qualified person to who's check doing the checking to see if they'll uh, 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 you know give her another deep freezer. So I had to make sure and that person being me so I had to everything I had to do I kind of had to document it because I in order for me to get paid uh, I you know she wants to send whatever I give her to the uh, insurance company okay so everything that I did I recorded it through the through, through the Flu Connect and those of you who know anything about the Flu Connect if you've used that app before just like other um uh, other apps out there that, that other uh, multimedia companies have, you know, they okay, but the one fluke have is very professional looking and it's easy to use and so on and so forth. It's all, I think it's the best uh, reporting, a uh, data reporting app that's out there for us for multimeters and all for the professional. So what I was doing, I was checking and uh, taking installation tests and uh, on the compressor and checking out the the, 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 the the limit switches and the capacitor and so on and so forth. And I recorded it on the uh, uh, the detailed report on the Fluke Connect, saved it. So she called me and uh, she told me how much, I mean, asked me how much did I charge? And I gave her my price. And uh, so after that, she, she paid me. She paid me. All right, so I said, well, good. And then she said, do you mind if I send this, uh, give this paper, uh, 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 no, can you report what you find to the insurance company? I said, okay. I said, okay, yeah, I can do that. And the insurance people, they called me and he asked me to send them my findings. I sent them, I emailed them a copy of the Flu Connect of the everything that I tested, and I even detailed it what I was testing that came out. And those are like I said, those of you who know what Flu Connect how how it looks. It's very professional. I de uh, I detailed all my findings. I sent uh, it. Was, they, they had the graft uh, the, the graft on it as well as my findings. Uh, I labeled everything that I was supposed to label. I put her name, my name, my my company name on it, and everything that it need uh, that I needed. And um, I sent them a copy of the certificate of calibration that came with this meter, because that's very important. Because remember, you're dealing with the insurance company. They don't want they want you to send them money, pay for insurance, but they don't want to pay you when something breaks. Or so they want to try to get out of whatever it is that they have to uh, is, is liable for if they have to spend money. So I made sure that I sent them a copy of my certificate of calibration. They didn't ask for that, but I just did it for this meter. I sent them, and that's the factory certificate of calibration for this meter. Uh, I sent the, um, the, the Fluke Connect um, email that also, and I sent my invoice in with, with that. Um, and they got it. They looked at it. And, oh, and I also sent uh, the insulation from Fluke. They have one that, um, let me show you which one that I sent to them a copy of. Um, one second, y'all. Let me see if I have it. Yeah. Now, I sent them a copy of this from Fluke. And so they won't have, if they can compare my findings, oh, that, that's on that, from, from that, uh, from that uh, insulation test, 
I sent them a copy of this. And the guy, he called me back and he wasn't technically inclined, technically inclined at all. And I talked to him and I kind of showed him how to read the, the chart and told him what this installation test can, you know, what it, what, what it does and so on and so forth. <sighs> anyway, uh, no problem. No problem. And uh, the reason, that was one of the reasons why I think this, this I, I say this meet is a game changer. And while I was talking to the guy, I asked him, how can I uh, become a technician? N uh, not for the, like to work for their company per se, but in the area that I live, if they have anybody else uh, that's, that they have appliances and, or whatever under warranty that live in this area, can I be their go-to guy? Well, he told me he's not in charge of that, but he gave me uh, the sales guy, uh, uh, the district guy that's over this area. And I'm in talks with him right now about becoming the, their go-to guy when they have situations like this. And guys, I'm saying that to say that's why it's so important when you're an electrician and that you know how what you're talking about or you be very professional. You know what you're talking about. You know what uh, how to explain yourself. You know uh, the terminology of each uh, component or whatever it may be that you're talking about. You want to convince that person who you're talking to that you know more than what they know and you know what you're talking about. You want to convince them uh, you want to show confidence and that you know what you're talking about. And I've done that. So I'm in talks with this guy because I'm trying to get this certain area. So what this meeting has done for me was sum me up more business, extra business. Guys, guys I make money. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not boasting or bragging. When I go out, I make some money. And I thank God for that. I'm, I make some money. Now, that's what this meeting has done for me. And that what makes this meeting such a game changer for me and the flu. Um connect that that's a game changer for me so now this meter right here this this leakage clamp meter right here this is by a company called sperry i don't think they're a company that made this meter but i just this is a rebrand because there's another meter on the market that there's a leak that's the same exact meter they, they have their name on it uh karatsu i think that's it uh I think that's it. Uh, Yokogawa, I think that, I, th I think they're another company too that have, they have, I may be pronouncing it wrong, Yokogawa. I think they have it. But this is a leakage current meter right here. I've done a review on this meter as well. I won't go into it, but this is a leakage current tester. And this is a game changer for me. This has made, made uh, troubleshooting so much easier for me. And I keep this meter in the truck with me at all times. And, um, I don't keep this in the truck with me at all times, you know, but I, you know, I just haven't had it with me that day. But I keep this with me at all times. And uh, you can look at the video where I've done a review on this meter and I kind of explain what this meter does. But this is a game changer for me. Uh, leakage current uh, tester. They have a lot of several on the market, but you got to watch it when you're purchasing this thing because they're just because it says it's a leakage current tester, just like they have companies out there that says they have a... Uh, uh, multimeters, true RMS, and you only paid five dollars for it inside of a supermarket. You bought it from a supermarket. Don't trust that. Uh, you get it from a name brand company, a reliable company, and if you're a professional, you do all right. Nowadays, you get what you pay for. But this is a game changer right here for me. This one is by HT Instruments. There's another company that has it. Again, I can't. It. Um, I forgot the name. <laughs> but anyway, this is by uh, H. This one is sold under HT Instruments. Uh, I don't. I think they're the maker of it, but this meter uh, helps this. Well, helps me. Helps me with troubleshooting by using this meter here. Um, you know, instead of just uh, putting it around two wires, I could just put it behind. Put put this clamp around this 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 term this uh, side of the meter right here, and I can test for milliamps. You know, so and um, this these these two devices go hand in hand. So both of these are, are game changers for me. And it made and they made my job much, much, much easier. And uh, that's part of the qualification that uh, that I use uh, to title these as game changers. So, um, but guys, that's about it. 
uh, for this video. I uh, just want to get that out. Um, and don't forget to go online and uh, check out the check out the uh, check out this multimeter. Even if you're not ready to purchase it, just you know put it on hold. Just I mean put it on the watch. Just click it and watch it. And then when you when you get your money right or whatever, you get it. But you won't get a deal like this ever again. Trust me. Once they're gone, they're gone, guys. This is a very good meter that don't that you shouldn't want to pass up. Um, so. With that being said, fellas, I want to thank you for letting me take your time up again. Uh, this is video number six of our Game Changing Electrical Tools, Electrician's Tools. And I thank you for watching. Leave a comment, hit the subscribe button mostly, and uh, hit the like button. And until next time, take care and peace out. <laughs>